Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. Past couple of days have been a bit hectic. And uh, I appreciate all your comments on that last video. Um, things are working out. Anyway, what are we doing today? I've had this one in mind for a while and I know I've made a few comments. Um, I carry a critter bag, a dog food bag. Just usually fold it up. Doesn't take up a whole lot of space. And I carry that in the in the in the rig, in the in the truck or the car or whatever. And they come in really handy because they're basically waterproof. So if you want to you know store something that you know if you're down at the beach or whatever or even just you know stinky seashells or whatever, then you go for it. And it's almost a dry sack. You can just take and roll it up and then clamp it shut. Or you could go ahead and add, you know, some, some of that and make it a real dry sack. Anyway, what I'm thinking of today is making a haversack type thing. I haven't done this before. So we're about to do this together. Kind of like spitballing it and figuring out exactly what I want to do. So I have an idea in, in, in here and that's what we're going to do. So let's bring you on down here. I'll show you. I've got, uh, what is this, a 14 pound bag of critter food. Actually, I got two of them. And a four pound bag of critter food. So let's see. First things first. Let's cut this one. Down to about there, like that. All right. Finish cutting these like so. Now we can cut that off. Right there. turn this bag inside out. I hope I got all that. All right, there we go. Let's turn all these seams 
reverse of what they want to be. So, all right. Now, let's take this bag that we made. I'm going to open it up just enough for there. Take a little bit of Gorilla Tape. And we will attach it. Like so. Do the same thing on the other side. Like so. And I think I'm going to come across the bottom. that. Alright, fold that bag back up. Pull it flat down. Probably cut off these ears, huh? Like I said, it's a piece in progress, so I just got a concept in my head. I know what I think I want. We got that like that. Oh. I hope this wind isn't being too noisy. Let's see. It's just a little more than that, so I'll go to there. And we'll cut that off. Turn this one inside out.
So, all right. Now, where does that fold at? Okay, now this one, when it folds up or it spans out, the fold is right there. And that's the fold that I want right now. You can adjust that duct tape a little bit. There we go. That's the fold I'm wanting. And on this one, I want the other part of that fold, which is there. And I'm going to put them together like that. Probably should have brought some clamps. Spitballing here. I don't think of everything. Take a couple of them like this. Where's that? Okay, there we go. There's that seam. And there's that seam. No clamps. That's okay. A little piece of duct tape worked just fine. Hold that like that. along that seam seem to come up now if I'd have really been thinking I'd have turned these inside out a couple of days ago and let them sit but you know like I said spitballing here where's that other We'll get it, we'll get it, hang on. There we go. A little duct tape clamp. like that all right Let's see what we got need to do some duct tape across the bottom
trying to put these bottom seals together now. And it may work out that I need to run some quick stitches through it. But we'll see. using dog food bags of course because that's what I've got but these bags or these you know most critter food comes in similar bags whether it be chicken feed or what have you now this will fold down like that now do I want to do I want to cut that off No, I do not want to cut that off. And I'll tell you why. Put this piece of duct tape right there. Try to move you the right way so you can see what I'm doing. There we are. Mount like that. And we'll seal up the top. Of course, I made it too short. Oh, that's 
spare stuff is blowing all over the place. Now, I could take and make straps out of these. Still got a little bit of dog food in it. Uh, or I could make straps out of these. Or I've got straps that I cut off. Come on, wind. We got a storm coming in. But right now I have a pocket. And then another pocket with a pocket inside with a flap and then a pocket in the lid. I like it. I may need to, I'll have to refine it a little bit. As an idea, I think it works out rather well. I think there'll be a, a bunch of storage in it. Just depending on You know what I did? <laughs> I forgot. No, I did. I goofed up big time. What do I got to do here to fix that? I didn't leave this pocket open. The back of the bag. So this pocket didn't actually work out. I need to go... that now I have this other pocket there we go Ta -da. and the pocket in the flap right ah, okay not a major big deal like I said whoops Crazy tripod. Uh, um, like I said, not bad for a first time. Just, I'm not the type that like sits down and writes everything out and makes all these plans and whatnot. I got something going on in here, and I go try it out. And it's not like I've got a big, you know, major investment in material. <laughs> um, may need to reconfigure the duct tape. Maybe a little of this and that. But overall, I think I like it. Let me know what y'all think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around on your social media, that would be fandoculous. Um, if you want to check out my Facebook, there'll be a link in the description box below or wherever it is on your device, along with uh, some other videos similar, you know, links to other similar videos that I've done. And um, yeah, if your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call, hit them up on Facebook, let them know you're thinking about them, let them know you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, people never know when the last time you get to say goodbye is going to be the last time you get to say goodbye. Until I see y'all again, I hope you have a fandoculous day. Slunch, y'all. Bye-bye.